This video is made possible by the following sponsors. Please make sure to go check out the websites and social media. Hello everyone, uh, today we are back at Spa in the Williams F1 car once again. This time obviously we're going to be doing much higher speeds and uh, our corner speeds going to be much higher than the Audi. So uh, let's uh, do some laps. So into turn one, we're breaking just past the 100. You should be actually using second because you get all spin in first. We're bogged down a bit but uh, it's a lot safer than first. Eau Rouge is uh, known for its high speed and uh, thanks to the engineering of this car we can take it flat out easily now. I think uh, Villeneuve was the one to claim that he went through, well first one to claim that he went through Eau Rouge and Radeon flat out and then they saw his data and uh, he didn't do it so <laughs> he tried later on and crashed <laughs> from memory. Um, then we go into the downhill right. This is double apex. Break just past the um, the left curb. Let it wash out a bit and come back. You're in second gear. Shift up to third. Turn in on the curb. Get the car rotated. And wash out wide. Here you'll be in seventh gear. As you turn in, shift down to six. Get the car rotated. Get the engine brake. And it's basically the same thing as what we had with the Audi. Break out the outside curb, shift down to third. Actually, you can almost use fourth through here. Use both curves to get the car rotated, but only just a little bit. Use third here, up to fourth, fifth, flat out, sixth, seventh. Guanshimo is uh, easily flat in these cars. Obviously, with the Audi that we drove here last time, it was. It was harder, um, not impossible, but it was much more nervous. Here, break out that outside curb, being first, shift into second for the left, and then you get a good run onto the main straight. So break just past the hundred, shift down to second. Car will bog down a bit, but that's all right. Down Camel Straight, breaking just after this curb. Use that inside curb so you get the car rotated. Don't shift into fourth until you're after the right hander. Down into second here, double apex this corner. Short shift to second, or third, sorry. Go down to 6 to get the engine brake and get the car rotated. Make sure not to use too much of this outside curb, otherwise the car bottoms out. Brake just past that curb, into third. Use too much curb there. Down to third. Flat out. And there's a basic lap for you around the spa. Still gotta go through the final chicane, but obviously same thing as what I said last time. Breaking up that out, start of that outside curb, shifting down to first, and then short shift to second. So break up the outside curb, shift down to first, shift up to second, and go into the mid straight. Go for one more flying lap, and uh, see how we go. Went down one too many, that's alright.
just should shift down a third. That's alright. I've only lost half a tenth. Or just a bit under half a tenth. Still a good lap. Let's see if we can gain more time for the last chicane. That's it. That's a good exit. That's good. We're second up. Oh, good lap. Good lap. 48-4. So yeah, there's a lap around Spa in the 2009 Williams F1 car. I hope this helped and uh, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, big thanks to all these people for keeping me on track. Thank you.